Yeah, buddy. Nice. Look at that. She's a keeper. All right, here we are again, another exciting overnighter in the Appalachian jungle or the Eastern woodlands. Now I'm in route to my secret spot. And let me tell you, walking through these woods, it's unbelievable. It's resource heaven. The beaver's been active out here. They have chewed through tulip poplar left and right. And check this out. The bark shreds right off, perfect for cordage, tinder bundles or bird's nest. This is outstanding right here. Now, I'm also leaning up against a red pine. I know it's a red pine because of the bark. Also, check out the needles. I can tell it's a red pine by going to the base. At the base, you should have about two needles coming out of each area, kind of like a hair follicle. Red pine has two, white pine has five. Now, red pine is also a red flag or an indicator for me that there's a possibility of fat wood. All I gotta do is look for one of these small, low branches right here, saw it off. I'm looking for a dark red color and a turpentine smell. Look at that. Not a lot, but it's definitely there. It has that dark color and that rich turpentine smell. Perfect for a flame extender. All right, so far so good. We found material for a bird's nest. We also located fat wood to be used as a flame extender in case it decides to rain on me. Now I need to get out of these woods right now, because if I don't, I'll end up scavenging all night. It's late in the afternoon. I'm gonna get to our secret spot, set up camp. That way it gives me a few hours in the evening to keep my promise. Time to slay some fish.
Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A room with a view, baby. Lakefront property. Can't beat this. Well, unless you roll with a six demon bag, you know, contains wind, fire, all that kind of thing. I could not off right here. All right. Firewood. Clean this area up. And I want a small amount of firewood. So in the event, well, no, when I get those fish, we're going to cook them up. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Check this dude out. Nice. Look at that. She's a keeper. Yeah, buddy. On a K-bar, baby. Got it on the K-bar. Okay, so the bird's nest ready to go, firewood stacked. The last thing on my list is to find some unique way to cook my fish. And today, I'm gonna improvise a broiler. Looks kinda like a ghetto, broken tennis racket. But all we're doing is we're grabbing a Y branch and slowly and methodically bending it to our will. We want it to form that tennis racket shape. Something like this. And then taking the ends, wrapping them around, then all we gotta do is weave sticks in between, one down the center and then horizontals, and it should be good to go. Now if I can do this without it breaking, that's the ultimate goal there.
Now cut the excess off. And then this one can marry up to this one. Fish in between. Taking two more horizontals and weave them through both of them. Then my end stick out onto a Y branch. And the theory is I can cook this side, rotate it, cook that side. And the rest of this I can wrap around it. And tuck it together to where it resembles an actual bird's nest. Get the coarse materials on the outside. Medium and fine. Now take a small piece out. We'll work on this. That's super fine. Okay, so I'm going to throw a couple verticals along here to close this up.
Watching that firewood shift as the wood's consumed and turn into charcoal and ash brings up a good point. Um, so my last tip or trick for tonight is say one of those logs rolls out of the fire. And I've seen people far too often just grab two sticks and try to finagle around with it or try to throw it back up on top like that. When a simple fix is to make a set of tongs. All you're looking for is a Y branch and a straight stick. Okay, so let's say for the sake of argument, this log rolls out of the fire. Now instead of taking two straight sticks and trying to pick it up and it wants to spin around or trying to flop it up on top there, take your Y branch, all you gotta do is place it in front of your log, then take your straight stick, pass it through your Y branch, and then wedge that log. You can now take your log, stick it back on your fire. This is what I'm talking about. For me, this is happiness right here. Now, I know we sat here last year and talked about goals, life goals, finding out what you want to do with your life. We were at this exact spot, and that video was overnight at the secret pond. So here we are, fast forward one year later, we'll talk about happiness. Just briefly talk about it. What is happiness to you? And for everyone, it's going to be different. I'm a firm believer, though, that before you can make somebody else be happy, you need to be happy. Happy with yourself, your job, your life choices, your situation, your marriage. Um, finding out what makes you happy. That should be goal number one. Once you find that out, you need to achieve that goal. So you make a plan, then you work that plan. Once you're happy, you can accomplish your dreams. I'm a firm believer in that. And for me right now, I'm probably months away. This time next year, hopefully we'll sit here, have one more talk, and I'll be on that correct path. And it's a long time coming long time but finding out what you want to do in this life finding out what you have to do to achieve those goals and then step number one make yourself happy then you can make others happy and to sit back and enjoy this is happiness. Living, baby. L I V I N. Love this place. I could sit here all night. Not sleep, just sit here all night and listen. That's about it for me. I'll go ahead and shut up now. Time on deck is 2300, 11 o'clock p.m. I'll go ahead and end this off, hit the rack, get up tomorrow, we'll break camp, check out the beauty of this place one last time, and head home. Catch you all in the morning. Rack Ops.
Welcome back. Last night was outstanding. Another one for the books and just a quick overnighter at the secret pond. Now, as usual, all my gear in this video can be found on my Amazon influencer page. I'll toss a link inside the description box. Please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. This way you'll never miss a video ever again. And as always, Thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm gonna catch you next time.